Virgos today. Spirit, thank you so much for clear messages for my Virgos. Thank you for blocking and bonding any witchcraft or wickedness, anything that may be coming up against this channel or your divine will for our lives. Thank you so, so much for healing our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Victory in every situation we may face in abundance and overflow. We appreciate the blessings and new love. Amen, amen, and amen for my Virgos, ancestors, spirit guides, holy angels. Virgo, it is time to release negativity. Hmm. It's time for you to release negative thinking, release doubts, okay? Anything that's making you feel negative or making you feel uneasy, it's time to let that go and fo focus on love and light. Um, it's purple, our color of royalty, stability, taking the high road, you know, resilience, honor, truth, dignity, okay? <laughs> Warrior energy, let's see. What else for my Virgos? Two popped out at once. Let's see what we got here. We have emotions are running high right now. And you are good enough. All right. So if there's any situation or anything making you doubt yourself or your self-worth, you are good enough. All right. Emotions are running high. You could just be feeling emotional. There's a lot of things going on. You can have a lot of things at stake. I mean, Virgos don't play about their security, their family. Um, their love, um, it could be anything, their tangible items, things that, um, or sentimental things, you know, it could be anything, but, um, whatever it is, spirit is telling you, you are good enough. Don't worry. It's something that could be trying to take a blow to your confidence. It could be somebody trying to bother your energy, you know, but spirit is telling you, don't worry. And you know what else underneath the bottom of the deck, a win-win outcome is on the forecast for you. So spirit is saying, baby, keep that head up. Um, some of you have lost a love or had to walk away from a relationship that was dear to you. Some of you are separated from people that are um, that mean a lot to you, you know. So let's see what Spirit is telling you here. Let's clarify everything with the... Okay, so you know what, I'll, know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the Island Time Wellness for last. No, I'm going to clarify these now. So let's clarify these. Let's see. It's time to release negativity. Spirit, show Virgo clear messages for my Virgos. It's time to release negativity. Why is it here? The runner. In a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. All right, so don't let your ego get in the way. Don't be prideful. Just be humble and continue to keep your head held high. You're already winning. All right, you're going to win either way. So don't worry about it. It's saying, basically, I'm getting keep your eye on the prize. All right, emotions are running high, and you may not be expressing this. I feel like somebody is not showing their true feelings, um, and somebody could be trying to pretend like they're okay. So you could be trying to make somebody think that you're okay, but really you're not. Something's, something's bothering you here. So let's see. Spirit from my Virgo collective, tell me what's going on here. Somebody could be talking to friends. The girl talk card came out, so I saw that. Um, this situation has you talking, talking about it. Keys on a ring. Somebody could have many options. Um, string along, one night stand. So somebody could be really gaslighting somebody here. Um, it's making you feel very uncomfortable. It's bothering you, putting you all in your feelings. Um, and I feel like this is saying don't think negatively or saying instead of lashing out at this person that's hiding their true feelings and trying to gaslight you and make you think everything is okay, but they really have options. Spirit is saying just turn the other cheek. You know, it's saying don't give in to your anger and frustrations right now, okay? It's saying because a win-win outcome is on the forecast anyway, you have you have options. You have more than enough. Um, I feel like this person, you found out this person has options, but you have options. Like, if you were to close this door today or tomorrow with this person, you're okay. You know, and I feel like you were talking to somebody and somebody reassured you about that. That it's okay to let this go. Yeah, somebody definitely could be seducing you. Look, all these cards flipped over. Stabbed in the back, paradise, twin flame. So, somebody could be definitely seducing you. But somebody does not have their the, your good... They don't have your... They don't have the best intentions. And they don't have your well-being in mind. Like, they are not thinking about making you feel good and making sure you have everything you need. With this um, 
seduction somebody not showing their real feelings they're gaslighting you for a one night stand with this you are good enough and stabbed in the back don't let anybody make you feel like you have to lower your standards or accept whatever they're given because you are good, good enough. And Spirit is saying end this with this person because it's a win-win outcome on the forecast for you anyway. Um, I see the Paradise card here and Twin Flames. Let's see. Somebody could have been expecting somebody to come and see somebody or travel and you decided not to. Spirit is saying don't even go see this person because they only want one thing. Trust me, this person is feeding into their ego and they have a lot of options. We're going to break this down a little bit further so you can get more clarity. All right, we got three cards that flips over. Let's see what it is. We got sunglasses, so somebody could be watching you, stalking you, all right, um, focusing on you, gaslighting again, all right? So somebody could be just spying, um, trying to make you think everything is okay, but they're spying on you. Or you spying on somebody and you found something out. I feel like this is the energy toward you, though. Somebody spying on you. And I feel like it's only a matter of time or something like that before somebody comes to express some passion. Or either um, with this, a win-win outcome is on the forecast. Yeah, somebody spying on you. It's only a matter of time before somebody comes and express how they feel. So either way, Spirit is saying don't focus on the negativity. Keep your eye on the prize, honey. You're the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> yeah yeah so either way let this person go because it's like you're blocking the opportunities that are at your door yeah you got opportunities knocking let this person go i'm hearing don't sweat the small stuff wow <laughs> this person with small change virgo tell me about it because my ancestors just told me don't tell virgo don't sweat it was just like don't sweat the small stuff i was like oh <laughs> oh whatever that meant you know you won't judge here Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. All right. So this could be the reason that you are so sensitive right now to energies, to people. Um, you're feeling, you know, your heart is opening. Your senses are tingling. You know, you're getting all kinds of feelings. You can feel these this passion towards you. And you feel, you know, it makes you want to go toward it. And that because there are real feelings there. But at the same time, the intention is not where it needs to be. All right, so Twin Flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. So for some of you, this is your Twin Flame trying to sweet talk you out of your undergarments. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, they're trying to sweet talk you, honey. And you're trying to take care of yourself. Clear your energy field and focus on um, yourself before acting. Yeah, so you're asking yourself, is this beneficial for me? How would this affect me in the long run? You know, what is this really offering me? Am I sacrificing? Am I giving more than I'm gaining? So these questions you should ask yourself. Play hard. It's time for you to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So I feel like this is saying be friends. Stay lighthearted. Keep the relationship cool. Right? One more spirit before we break it down in the tarot. One of these popped, but it didn't flip over. So something's hidden. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Wow, Virgo. So honestly, right now, you have to walk away from this person because this person is, um, their energy is a mess right now. But Spirit is telling you that this is a divine partnership. Um, this person is going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like you need to clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting or talking to this person or going toward this person, you know, or responding. Um, it is time for you to have fun and enjoy times. Spirit is saying to ease up the tension or make yourself a little more comfortable. Just try to laugh and have fun because you are in control. And that's a great way for you to maintain control right here. All right. Yeah. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So you could have felt rejected by this person or you could feel rejected by this person right now. Um, because they're running and they're focused on other options and whatever else they're doing. But honestly, Virgo, Spirit is saying just continue to walk your path. Continue to do what you're doing and work on yourself. Um, this is saying this is some type of divine connection. Um, and this is a destined partnership. So um, you guys are in each other's lives for a reason. You guys will be helping each other and supporting each other. That doesn't mean that you're going to end up together, but you belong in each other's lives. So let's dig a little bit deeper and see what Spirit wants you to know about this connection. So now we're going to put, um, we're going to move this up. Put this to the side. 
All right, thanks guys for remembering to like the video. Remember, YouTube is judging our videos now by how many likes we get. Also, not only the watch time, like how long you watch the video, but now is if you like it. So try to remember to like it, guys. I know you love me and I know you're watching. And I know a lot of times you forget because I do that so much. And I'll be going back now to go like the videos I watch. <laughs> but guys, just try to remember for me. Thank you. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and put some cards out on this stuff we got here. See what's going on with your twin flame or your love or whoever's on your mind or who's thinking about you. Virgo, make sure you take some time out for yourself, Spirit. Just reminded me to tell you that um, and to be lighthearted. You know, you'll be surprised. Laugh at this situation. Just be like, <laughs> it's crazy how we got here. You know, just something to get your mind off of being frustrated or feeling rejected. Because actually, this is God's protection. Like, you don't belong together at this time. This person is not healed. Somebody is going through a transformation. And for some of you, Virgo, this is you going through yours. And this person isn't ready. Awakening for my Virgos. Oh, shoot. I forgot to ask for the daggone card. Hold on, Virgo. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Virgo Collective, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Show Virgo Collective what they need to know, please, on this awakening. What's going on for this spiritual awakening? Nine of Wands. So we have um, somebody is withstanding adversity. You're going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like a lot of you are becoming spiritual. You're changing your belief system and the way you move and people are so confused by it. I feel like a lot of people um, don't really know how to take you. Um, I feel like you've been through a lot. Um, you feel like you are tired. It's been an uphill battle, but damn it, you're almost there. <laughs> Um, and so now you're going through the spiritual awakening. And for all of some of you, it's been rough. You have to let people go. It's a little bit lonely, especially when you're first starting. And so it's not easy. It's unfamiliar territory, but territory. But spirit is definitely saying it's worth it. Show me one more for the nine of wands for my Virgo, please, spirit. For awakening. I see two of wands here. We got justice. Yeah, so it's a fair judgment for you. This spiritual awakening is going to bring you amazing blessings. It's going to bring you abundance and true love. All right, I feel that. Very strong. Twin flame. <laughs> this reading is intense. Page of wands. Rapid fire planning. This, <laughs> Y'all, this twin flame is planning something. Okay, they're planning they're planning for y'all. Like, they're not, look, they know this is a divine counterpart connection. They know now. This twin flame is the one going under um, a spiritual transformation. Could be a fire sign. Could be a air sign. Doesn't have to be. This is just the energy. Let's see. And then also, yeah, for this page of wands energy here, this person's thinking passionately about you and they're making plans. Baby, I've been making plans. Oh, baby, baby, I've been making plans for you. Hey, y'all, I love that song. All right, let me calm down for all my, they're like, come on, pull it together, Empress Me, because we don't like when you get all, but y'all know I'm going to be me. Come on. You know, y'all know where I'm from. I'm going to be me. I only know how to be me. So you got to love me or leave me alone. Hey, anyway, we got the Knight of Coins here, making plans, patience. To succeed. So this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Twin Flame, or yours, baby. But they are making plans. They're not saying anything. This person is silent. Ooh, Ten of Wands. This person feel like they got the weight of the world on their shoulders right now. Yeah, your person is burning. Ooh, they don't want to drop none of that on you. You ain't taking it either. I heard I don't want it. I don't got no handout or anything for it. They know I'm nowhere around to get it. <laughs> Virgo said, uh-uh. Self-care is for some of you, it's really hard to turn down your twin flame. You love them, you know, but huh, you're keeping karma balanced for the both of you. We got four of cups here in the reverse. Oh, regretful comparison. So somebody could be um, maybe comparing themselves to the person you have now. Virgo, you could be comparing yourself to the person that they're with. Or you could be comparing your life to theirs or something like that. Somebody's comparing Somebody needs to come. Okay, so somebody has somebody in their energy field that could be comparing themselves to you. So clear your energy field and focus on yourself. 
before acting. So it's just like, don't pay attention to that. Just focus on yourself, clear your energy, and keep moving forward, okay? And if this is your energy, then Spirit wants you, but I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're busy taking care of yourself. You're going through your awakening. Um, and then I feel like somebody is, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this twin flame is actually comparing their person to you. I feel like you're taking care of yourself and doing a lot better than the person that they're with. Dang, that's messed up. Mm. Self-care. Oh, my goodness. And it could be their baby mother or something. The person that they had a child with. Look at how this lady look. Virgo, we don't look like that. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> I'm being nice. I'm just saying, like, we like to take care of ourselves and everything. And I, it's not even me, y'all. Don't get mad at me. It's this person saying that you're better than their person, okay? It's not me. I, I think everybody's beautiful until they show me an ugly side, honestly. Because I find beauty in everybody. I can. That's just my gift. But <laughs> this person, I can just touch their hand for you if you want. Because they being, they like, mm-mm. I regret this. She's so much better. Uh-uh. I'm planning. I'm getting out of this. This person getting out of this. Time to find time to laugh and goof off and enjoy each other. This person is feeling stressed. Like they miss you. They're thinking about you a lot. They want, they're trying to figure out how to find time to hook up with you. How to find time so y'all can have some fun together. Like they want to get closer to you. This person is not telling you anything. I'm going I'm to pull the card on it. The star. This person sees you as a star. Wow. This person sees you as amazing and a very bright opportunity. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Wow. Will of fortune. A lucky twist of faces. Faith. A <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> a lucky twist of fate is about to happen between you and this person. Dang. It's like somebody don't want me to tell you. I mean, but it's true. I got sage all on the table. But it's true. A lucky twist of fate is going to happen here. Because this person is realizing that they made a bad decision. And also your twin flame is going through an awakening and they're taking better care of themselves. For some of you, um, it could be male or female energy, okay? Let's see. Rejection. <clears throat> the Empress. Wow. So, I feel like somebody is rejecting. Maybe somebody rejected a, having a baby with this person. I feel like this was God's protection for you. Um, I feel like this person was meant to have a baby and they had it with this other person. Okay? And I feel like they weren't meant to have this child with you for some reason. Hmm. The Empress here. What's the Empress? Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This Taurus can feel rejected by you. Mm -hmm. Ace of Coins. Yeah, you could have rejected this Taurus. This Taurus, um, this Taurus wants. Wow. Virgo, this Taurus wants to be your person. This Taurus, um, mm, they feel like you're their counterpart and you're the one that they should have chose to be in this relationship with. They feel like this for both of you. This rejection. This, you guys having a baby together and all this was not meant for you guys. This person, the Taurus or whoever this is, somebody feels stabbed in the back, okay? That you stop talking to them or you ended it or you won't let them see you or whatever. Somebody feels stabbed in the back and they feel heartbroken by that. They're up at night. They think about you all the time. They're trying to find a way to figure out how to make a plan to see you so y'all can spend more time together. Rapid fire planning. But this person is so weighed down by everything that they've chosen. Do you know why? Because this person is out of alignment. They were, they had an opportunity. You know this. Y'all had an opportunity where it felt like time was like paused or slowing down for y'all. It was like only y'all existed. And it was like the divine was waiting on you guys to make a decision, a heart, a decision from the heart about each other. The love was there, yes. But at the time, somebody had doubt. At the time, somebody was not ready. So this this got closed for a minute. Like, it stopped, okay? We don't see the world here because it's, no, this is very much current. So this person regrets their decision. They don't regret if they have a child with this person. They don't regret that. 
but they don't regret their decision, Virgo. <laughs> I feel so bad for saying that, but they they <laughs> they feel like you are so much better. Like they feel like you take care of yourself. Clear your energy, feel and focus on yourself before acting. So <laughs> this is telling you to think clearly before acting. I feel like this person is doing that. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like awakening. This twin flame, twin flame. This twin flame is going through an awakening. You both could be. But I feel like you've already started yours or been through yours. Now he or she is. And this twin flame is burning because they made the wrong decision when they had the chance. This twin flame um, is trying to plan something. Pay, being patient to succeed. They're going to succeed. All right, they feel burdened by life. They're trying to succeed in life too. All right, but this four of cups, they regret the person that they chose to have a baby with. Now they are stuck with this person. Self-care is here. That has a big reason to do with why they regret this person. I feel like this queen of cups is in reverse, to be honest. I mean, well, it is in reverse. The queen of cups is in reverse. The queen of cups is saying, um, up. Uh, uh, an unintuitive comparison or just they this person is no match for you it came out in reverse i'm sorry and the queen of cups in reverse is talking about somebody who is maybe a neglectful mother maybe they don't take care of their home it's kind of dirty in there um they are having they they're like lazy just neglecting their responsibilities all right, this person is just, it's the person that you'll say, oh my God, why you didn't clean this out? Why you leave those dishes in the sink? Why didn't you pick this up? Why didn't you, why the carpet look like that? Why don't you throw those shoes away? Like stuff, stuff like that. All right, so let's see. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm laughing y'all, but it's a little bit funny to me because they should have chose you. But lessons. So guys, um, your card here is saying lessons lessons it says karma teaches what you need to grow there are no mistakes you never lose you always learn so this is helping you release this emotion or being held down by this person for some of you this could have been you um this could be you comparing yourself to your twin flames person um but i really feel like this is this twin flames energy that is feeling trouble and they they feel like it's an uphill battle in this situation it's in and out, in and out with you. And they they realize, they're having an awakening that you are their person. Something is going to happen in this connection. Wow. This deep Virgo. Whew, I, this energy is intense. I'm, I'm going to have to put that in the title. It's, this is very intense. <sighs> so let me post this video. I love you. Don't kill me in the comments. I mean, if you don't want them, okay. But I'm just here to give you a message, okay? Um, let me see. Spirit, show Virgo what will happen if they go back with this one flame when it's time. Ace of Wands. It's going to be a motivated beginning. What else can Virgo expect out of this connection with this one flame when it's time? Wow, that flew over here. Knight of Swords. An unstoppable force. Woo! I need... <laughs> One more spirit for Virgo. When it's time, when they get with this twin flame, what is it going to be? What is it going to be given? Ancestors. Ooh. Unnecessary ending. Wow. And what's going to happen? That card also talks about transformation. Wow. One more, Virgo. The devil. So it's going to be an end to the destruction, destructive indulgence. What else? What else can Virgo expect from this um, connection once it's time when they get back with their twin flame? You can expect, ooh, the end to a stagnant routine, the end to secrets, and the nine of coins. A prosperous victory. Wow. So I feel like for a lot of y'all, you're waiting for this person to grow up. Like you don't want to accept this person. Y'all felt the energy, both of you. This person does not want to come to you and just get dropped like a bad habit for being immature. And for you, because I feel like there could be an age difference here. I feel like for you, you didn't want to take this person and know that you would be regretting your decision later on down the line because they weren't ready. 
right? And they knew they weren't ready. They love you more than that. But you can expect for it to be an end to the, you can expect for it to be the end to the, seek, to the, uh, a necessary ending to the lies that this person usually tells, to the stagnant routine that they had as far as cheating or whatever. And then it's going to be nine of coins, you know, it's not going to be waiting to talk to him. And it's going to be a proctor, pro, prosperous victory. Okay. So I feel like it's a lot of recognized opportunity here. You both see it. So something is going to happen from this. Wow. But I feel like karma is showing you guys and you're learning through each other. You're learning karmic lessons to not give in to temptation and just go be with this person. And this person is learning that you can't just go rushing into situations and think that everything's going to work out for you. No, you got to take your time and plan wisely. And you do not get to overindulge in this life and have whatever you want. So lessons to be learned here. I love you. And I will talk to you in the next video. If you want a reading about you or your person, you can email me at closer the number two, my destiny and then number one at gmail.com. All right, lovies. This was who, honey, this was deep. <laughs> See you Virgo. Bye.